Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to go over how to capture page views in single page apps. Single page apps are one of the most popular ways to structure client side apps, but they do have some challenges. One of them being that page views don't uh, track accurately. Uh, page views require the page to be reloaded to count, so we're going to have to trigger the page views manually in order to have an accurate page view count. So we're going to set this up here. So to start, we're going to start by creating a new app. And to do this, we're just going to use React. So we're going to run the command mpx create react app. And we're going to name it spa underscore client. So this is going to take a little bit to load. Uh, but afterwards, we'll have a nice uh, template. Great, so now that this is installed, we will uh, run it. So we're going to go into the SPA client folder. We're going to run npm start. And when this opens a new page here, we should see the default React page. Great, so now we're going to go back into our code and start working on the actual app itself. So back in our code, we're going to start by uh, ending the process running locally, and we're going to npm install uh, React Router DOM. So this should be a quick install here. And once that's done, we're going to go into our SPA client. We're going to go into SRC. We're going to go into index.js, and we're going to import that uh, browser router. And then we're going to wrap our app in the browser router. Great. We're just going to format this here. So now we have a basic router wrapping our app. After we've done this, we can start creating some pages. So we'll create a few, the first one being home.js. We're just going to make this a very simple app that exports a function, home. And in that function, it's going to return a simple page. So we're just going to use like a simple h1 header, home, welcome to the home page. That's great. And I'm also going to create a couple more pages here. So we have a single page app with multiple pages. Uh, they're going to be benefits and about. So now that we've gone ahead and added the benefits and about pages, we're going to go into app.js. We're going to remove the excess code here, the templated code they have. Um, we are going to import some things. So we're going to import uh, route, routes, and link from React Router DOM. We're going to import home from home about from about and benefits from benefits. Cool. So next we're going to add some code uh, that's going to just be a basic page that has a nav. And this nav is going to be a unordered list. Uh, the first list item is going to be a link to the home page. The second is going to be a link to the about page, and the third is going to be a link to the benefits page. Make sure you have the, the uh, beginning slashes here, and we're going to close our nav out there. And, and then we're going to use our routes component to create the routes. So it's going to have a path that relates to the link that we said, and then it's going to have an element that we imported. So the first one's home. The second one is the about page. The third one is the benefits page. Uh, and then we're just going to close out the routes uh, component there. So now when we run npm start again, we should see something different. Now when we go to our local host, we'll see kind of a basic page that has a few links, uh, about page, a benefits page. This is a kind of a basic single page app. It isn't loading in between these pages. They're all kind of loaded on initial page load. Uh, yeah, so next we're going to set up post hoc. So back in our code, we're going to go to index.js. And here we're going to install uh, post hoc. So we're just going to run npm install post hoc JS, our, our uh, JavaScript library. Now that that's done, we're going to import post hog 
from posthog.js, perfect. And we're gonna initiate posthog. So we're gonna run posthog.init. Uh, and then we need a project API key, as you see there, and as well an API host. So this will likely be app.posthog.com. If you're self-hosted or if you're on EU, then it'll be eu.posthog.com. Or if you're um, self-hosted, then it'll be whatever your domain is. So I'm going to get my project API key and enter it in here, and then I'll move on to the next step. So now I've added my project key into the index.js file. I'm going to run npm start again. And we'll reload here. So we're on the benefits page. We'll go to the home page. We'll go to the about page. And in about a minute, we should see some events heading into our postdoc instance. So after about a minute, we'll see that we have some new events here. We have a page view that goes to benefits. We clicked on the home page button from the benefits page and we clicked on the about button from the home page. But you see here, we did move between these pages, but it only counted at one, one page view. So we're gonna do something to fix that. So now that we're back in our app.js file, we're gonna import some things. So we're gonna first import React. We're gonna import posthog. from posthog.js, and we're also going to import use location. Uh, from React Router DOM. And once we've done this, we're going to create a use effect here. We're going to let location equal use location. We're going to use the React use effect function to capture a page view when that use location variable changes uh, is basically what's happening here. So when you go between pages, the use, the use location value changes. And when that happens, we'll use an effect to uh, capture an event, a page view event in Posthog. So once we've saved that, we can go back to our main app. We can reload it here. We're on the about page, we can go to the benefits page, we can go to the home page. And then when we head back to our live events, we'll see that we have a whole bunch of new page views. So we see that when we click the benefits button from the about page, we get a page view. When we click the home button from the benefits page, we get a page view. So now we are tracking each of the page views uh, individually. That wraps things up about tracking page views in single page apps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or join our Slack community uh, where we do community support and announcements. Uh, you can also see more tutorials on posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks.